I love the holidays. December 3rd. 2020. The website eatthis.com publishes an article entitled The 10 Unhealthiest Foods on the Planet. Tasty treats like pecan pie, sugar cookies, fudge, and much more made the list. At the beginning of the article, the author encourages its readers to be more mindful during the holiday season and to enjoy these foods in smaller amounts in order to keep people on track with their goals, which is actually pretty good advice. But I have different goals this holiday season, and today that doesn't include moderation. In this food challenge, you'll see me take down the unhealthiest holiday foods on planet Earth. This is how it went. <sighs> All right, everybody, well, here we are. Welcome to the new location for my food challenges. And everyone, I could not be any more excited than I am right now to get into today's food challenge because we have a lot of deliciousness on this table right now. Every year around December, I get into my holiday food challenges in preparation for carbs. It drops every December around Christmas time. And I figured this would be the perfect opportunity because eatthis.com published an article. And in that article, it listed the 10 unhealthiest holiday foods on the planet. And you guys know me. I felt like that was a perfect opportunity for me to make a food challenge. There are some things on this table that I've tried before that I'm a huge fan of. There are also some things on this table that I've tried before that I am not a huge fan of. So in this food challenge, everyone, I'm gonna be letting you know which dessert items are worth it and which dessert items are not worth it. So the article said 10 items and I have nine, 10 items. I feel like that's just, that's just not good. One sec. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep the other two items that I have, which are actually the items I'm looking forward to the most. I'm gonna keep those over there. Grab those a little bit later. Keep you guys in suspense. Anyways, everyone, I am super hungry and I'm ready to get straight into this challenge. Without further ado, my friends, my family, this is the unhealthiest holiday desserts challenge. Let's do this. First things first, everybody, you guys know the drill. Go ahead and give the video a like if you haven't approved it. And just so you all know, it's the holidays. Get yourselves a friend or family member or fellow carb lover and iHeart Carb sweatshirt, along with the other fresh designs that are live on the Eric the Electric shop. Link is down below in the description. Can you move about to start this without utensils? All right, folks, I think I'm gonna start with the frosted sugar cookies first. All right, folks, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, and So good. These cookies just literally like disintegrate in your mouth. Mm. All right, buddy. Well, sugar cookies are down. All right. I'm going to get on over this fudge right here. I love fudge. It's fudging delicious. That's some good fudge. Oh. And these definitely are worth it. Give my seal of approval. Mm. Really good point. Alright, that fudge went down quick. Now, I gotta get on over to something that it was on the list. And when I saw it on the list, I was like, dang it. Because I can't really get around this one. There were some things I could get around. But it was not this. Peppermint bark. If you guys know me, I'm not the biggest fan of peppermint. Gotta bite the bullet on this one. I know a lot of you are gonna say, Eric, that's not real peppermint bark. Well, everybody, I couldn't find any peppermint bark. So I opted for this. All right, that's good enough. I'll save the other four for my midnight snack. Here we go. <laughs> Getting toothpaste vibes. <clears throat> The uh, peppermint bark is down. Hold on, the peppermint bark is down. This may look like a pumpkin pie, but it's actually going to be something else. One of the items on the list was actually a chocolate pie. And now everybody, this is a pumpkin pie. It's not a chocolate pie. There's a way we can do this, all right? There's a way I can make this a chocolate pie. Hopefully you know where I'm going with this. I love the holidays. That is a lot of chocolate. That is chocolate central. There's chocolate everywhere. Whew. Oh, dang it, I don't have paper towels. Oh. Now it's time to dig in. Oh. 
That was actually surprisingly good. I wasn't thinking I was gonna like it, but that gets it worth it for me. Maybe the real chocolate pie, I'll have someday. But yeah, I'm just gonna go with that for now. Now the list said popcorn balls were supposedly one of the worst holiday desserts out there, but I couldn't find popcorn balls out there. So I opted for this caramel pecan cinnamon roll popcorn instead. And this stuff looks absolutely amazing. Here we go, let's try it out. Everyone now is gonna get a W. Oh, got you. Popcorn's down. <laughs> that is 100,000% worth it. Super good. Now I think I'm gonna get into these snowballs right here. I just gotta be honest with you all. There was an item on this list. There was no chance I was going to get. All right, I can't remember what it was called. Souf Ganiot. Souf Ganiot. Yeah, there was no way I was gonna be getting that here. I got something that kind of looked like it. Snowballs. And if you haven't ever had a snowball before, well, this is what it looks like. Snowballs are down. Those are gonna get a worth it for me. I usually don't like snowballs, but for whatever reason, I like them this time. I don't know. Taste buds change. Now, it's time for the gingerbread Oreos. Now, gingerbread Oreos come around every single year here in America, and Well, the gingerbread Oreos are down. So those are gonna get it worth it. I mean, everything honestly tonight has been absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna be crowning a winner out of all of this at the very end of the challenge. Be sure to stick around for that. Now everybody, I have one, two, three, plus two more items. Now I think it's time to get, do I wanna do the fruitcake or the pie or the roll? Actually, first things first. If you're wondering why there are ruffles on the table, well, two words, flavor fatigue. Now everyone, if you don't know what a fruit cake is, it is a cake that's stuffed with dried fruit. And there are two types of people in this world. One of them likes fruit cake. The other one dislikes fruit cake. I'm the one that dislikes fruit cake. Which one are you? Comment down below. Every single year I try fruit cake again, just to see if I like it. So who knows? Maybe this will be the year that I actually like it. Plus it's got a little chocolate sauce on there. Oh, we got some nuts in there too. Hmm. Let's try it out. EWW <sighs> moment. my life just never happened. Now apparently pecan pie is one of the unhealthiest holiday desserts out there. But do I just do a slice or do I do the entire pie? Happy holidays. deaths than I thought it was gonna be. I feel like that's the eight millionth time I've said that on this channel, but here I am eating ridiculous amounts of calories. This is a pumpkin roll. This is supposed to be a Yule roll. I don't know if a pumpkin roll is technically a Yule roll, but regardless, it's a roll and it's got something sweet in the middle of it. So here we go.
Just like that, everybody. All of our items have been tamed. That pumpkin cream cheese roll, Yule roll, whatever it's called, 100,000% worth it. But I gotta say, my favorite thing was the caramel pecan cinnamon roll popcorn. Absolutely amazing, but here's the deal, everybody. I may be outrageously stuffed right now, and I've probably eaten way too many calories already, but I've got a few more items. So that being said, it's time for a little bonus round. Panatone is amazing, and what we've done in America, we have added M&Ms to Panatone, if that's how you pronounce it. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but whatever. I saw these in the store, and I was like, yes. What? I have to add the M&Ms on top myself? What do you think this is? Man, I gotta do all the work around here. That's a letdown. And I also got the all new limited edition Jitter Bread cookie dough bites from Ben & Jerry's. Who knows, maybe I might have a new favorite item tonight. I don't know, who knows. There we have it, my friend and family. This is the M&M mini panettone. Let's do this. W. Oh. You guys are still here if you're still with the flow of the video. Comment down below. Carpsmas. Because Carpsmas is gonna be absolutely crazy this year. And just like that, everybody, that has been another food challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I gotta say that that popcorn was absolutely amazing, but my favorite thing from tonight was this mini M&M panettone. Absolutely amazing. But everyone, I wanna know down below, what was your favorite item that you saw me eat tonight? If you're new around here and you love crazy insane food challenges, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And also, while you're down there, give the video a like if you haven't already. Thanks for watching this week's food challenge. I'll see you guys in the next one.